Guys, how are we doing? Can everybody hear me? Yep. All right, because I hate to stand up there all day, okay? These are actually the best uh, clinics to go to because you got a lot of, uh, you don't have a big room and you got a chance for a lot of interaction. I want to share with you tonight uh, some of the things that we do to marry up our, our play action pass game with our run game. And again, I want it to be very conversational. So any, any, any questions that you have, don't, don't uh, hesitate to interject. I, I got to share with you, though, really quickly. Of course, you guys know that uh, we were supposed to come up here on December 1 uh, to play the Seminoles, so I finally made it to Charlotte. Uh, we couldn't play the game, uh, but hopefully we'll get, this, uh, we'll get this NCAA stuff behind us and we'll be ready to go. I uh, had a couple questions uh, in the hallway uh, about coming down and visiting. Guys, our practices are open to every high school coach in America. Uh, our, our doors are open to every high school coach in America, so if you want to come and watch film, spend a day with us, and we actually let you guys uh, shadow the coaches on the field. So you have a chance to shadow your position uh, if you so choose. And however we can help you uh, better your program, uh, University of Miami Hurricanes are committed to doing that. Okay. The last thing I want to share with you is uh, just being in college football, men, that this, this uh, head thing's not going away. This concussion thing's not going away. And it's incumbent on all of us to make sure that we are teaching it the right way. I had the great privilege of uh, doing a 20-minute video uh, for the National Football League and the uh, high school player development program, which everybody will have access to uh, in uh, April. Uh, but again, I think uh, we need some uniformity uh, in terms of how we're teaching it. Uh, and we've got to make sure we're trying to get, keep that head out of the game because that's not going away. The other thing I want to share with you is uh, even under all the stress that, that we've been under, uh, that I think it's really important that you find your soul and that you always include your core values uh, as part of your culture and as part of your teaching. You know, uh, and again, for us, we call it the eight pillars at the University of Miami, and I'm not going to go through them all here today, but make sure that we are teaching and using the sport uh, to better the young, young men's life, and, uh, and that's obviously going to give us the fabric uh, that we need to move this game forward. So uh, with that, I want to I wanna, uh, open up and uh, talk to you about our, uh, our two-back uh, run game. We call it uh, 14 and 15 week. All right, so the first thing we're talking about, and I apologize for that slide, the first thing we're talking about is a downhill run with zone blocking to the open side. We call it 14 and 15 week. Guys, we've actually gotten to the point where we're really not putting it in the playbook as 14 or 15 week. Everything is a code word uh, because we just eliminated the, the middleman. We eliminated that step. So again, you call it whatever you want, Wyoming, Washington, whatever you want to call it. But for us, all we're saying uh, here is that uh, we, are block we are blocking inside zone to the open side. So we're, uh, we're, we're big here, we're big here. Okay, these two guys, are going to come back to the mic. We're going to lead up on, on the will, and we're going to be man on or mango on the back side. Okay? Uh, a lot of times we'll, we'll run this at a slot as well, where we want to carry a, a, a bubble component. If we feel like uh, 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 we could throw the bubble out there, we'll take it. Okay? The, uh, the quarterback uh, is going to uh, open up, and again, we don't want to push the tailback very wide. Uh, tailback, you want your shoulder square on, on the third step. And uh, we are, uh, our aim point is the uh, outside leg of the guard. Outside leg of guard. Now, I don't suggest you get uh, thrown out of the saloon like this fullback did here. Okay? All right? But, it, but, it, but it's really important. It's really important you'll see here, okay, that we are going down the sternum. We are sternum here at the tackle spot. Sternum here. Want to get our pads down. This is what we call a two-spot drill. Okay? And that's just really getting face mask and hands underneath his. Okay, they, these two guys are aiming back to the mic, and we're mango on the back side. Sometimes when we get a 3-4 look like this, all right, we can also see that, all right, which is uh, backsiding in case we get a fold player. You'll see it here from the end zone in a minute. Okay, uh, it's four and five hole roll, rules for these guys out here. Backside cutoff here, four and five roll, uh, rules for this guy here, which means he's going safety to turn back. If we get too, too deep, he's going to turn back on the corner. Again, we want to get our face inside, and, and uh, we, wa we want to be six-second players. Now, it's really important for us to finish the play. Again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time. I want to get to the play-action part of this component of it. But again, sternum here, sternum here. All right, we're aiming back to the mic. We're mango or man on on both these guys here. Again, we want, to be, uh, we want to be flush here. We don't want to turn our pads the last second. It's one of the things that we're talking about safety. That's not it. Okay. You want to have a, a good knee bend, face mask, and hands, elbows inside, rubbing your ribs, and obviously the fight begins on contact. Great job here, 
All right, we're reading the front side, uh, the first defense alignment. All right, great job here by Mike James hitting it. Okay, again, Mike, Mike always did a great job of having the ball in the appropriate hands. Anytime we're running the ball to the left, we put the ball in the left hand. Okay, again, we want to be able to use our weapon if we can. And once he, gets the, uh, uh, once he gets past the second level, we're saying double in trouble. He's in trouble now. Make sure we double, cover it up, and move forward. That's verse a 3 4. Let's see what we got here. We got another 3 4 look here. Again, so we're man on here. All right, so we're on, we're on. We're aiming to the back, excuse me, aiming to the backside. Fullback's got the will. We're mango, mango. Okay, all right, we are uh, on here and on here. Again, great job here by the backside guard. Again, this is a, a game plan thing. We'll see it from the end zone, but they have a stunt going on here. So the, the backside guard will turn back into the slanting five technique or four technique. Again, I don't want to spend too much time because I want to get to the play action. So just bear with me here, guys. Just want to make sure we set it up. Okay, again, good job. Good job finding, finding through there. Excellent job by the backside guard. He's actually aiming to this guy. His guy goes back. He, he comes back into the, uh, the slanting four technique here. Well done. One more look at it here. Okay, so again, we're, our, our slot's going to block uh, support now. Again, this is a freshman here. We don't want uh, to do the lobster claw ever. He's got his hands outside. All right, we want to run off the ball all right, and, and uh, get our hands inside and go down to sternum. We want to go down to sternum here. Center is, is uh, too far back on this A to the back side here. Okay, these two are working here, and then uh, we're, uh, we're mango on the back side here. We'll see it here uh, from the end zone. All right. This is uh, Randy Duke, Duke Johnson. For you guys that have not had a chance to see Randy live, uh, he's an exciting young man from Norland High School and a freshman. Excellent uh, football player. So man on. Again, we want to be sternum. We want to run out of our stance. Again, he'll go either under or in the B gap to get to that will, depending on where the will is. All right, and again, we want to A this on the back side, or, if, or uh, A it, so these two want to work here. Too, too much by the center. All right, and then these two are either here or back here, depending on, on uh, what we did for the game plan. So coach, with that center, he probably needed to aim a little bit further up the field. Correct, go up the field, just give him a hand. <coughs> yep, exactly right. Just give him a hand. Again, good job by the quarterback, not pushing him all the, off the midline. Good job by a young running back getting to his aim point, outside leg of the guard. Okay, so we'll take a look here. All right, so now, all, this is what I'm really trying to uh, share with you guys. So all we're doing now is, and you could do it a number of ways, but the, the way we find that is the easiest for our guys to learn is we just add a, a word. We can add the word purple or whatever we want to do. Well, so let's say this, let's say this code name was Wyoming. This, this uh, uh, two-back open side uh, zone uh, lead is called Wyoming. Now, if we want to throw the ball out of that action, we'll just say purple Wyoming. Okay, and everybody's blocking, everybody's blocking the exact same people that they would block. Okay, and it's something that we went through a couple of years ago at Temple. Uh, all of our play actions, are, 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 they're not specific uh, protections like they used to be back in the old days. These are just, whatever you're running, make sure that you have an, an accompanying uh, play action pass that goes off it. So. Uh, again, if we could just stay here for a second. So we're on, we're on. Okay, now the fullback's all right, got the will, just like he does. The tailback is generally a check release. He's a check through. He doesn't really have a, a, an assignment. Obviously, he would be carrying the ball if we were, we were going to run the play. So he's a, he's a free releaser uh, in this. Uh, the, the center and the backside guard are going to A, and they're going to mango here. Again, it's really important. One of the things that I could tell you that helps us a lot is take one of your smartest players Take one of your smartest players on the offensive line and make him, make him the play action captain. All right, Make him call out a word before this play that gets their hats down, gets their pads down, and they get really good at, at coming off low and hard. The really uh, important thing is it's gotta be, they got to be selling the run. they got to be selling the run. And as soon as they feel like the defensive lineman is peaking because he sees his pass, that's when they got to get their head back and punch out. Okay, But it's really important that everybody on the offensive line all right, it's coming off low and hard, including the fullback. 
Now, one thing that we do that I picked up from Jed Fish, who's now the offensive coordinator of the Jackson, uh, Jacksonville Jaguars, guys, is we run the fullback on what's called a bloody flat a lot. So the bloody flat is something where he will actually go and try to hit the wheel as hard as he can, and then he'll run his route. And oftentimes that just absolutely eliminates the will from any kind of, uh, any kind of protection, uh, any kind of uh, uh, pass coverage, excuse me. Okay, so I could sit here and draw it up. It's, it's much better uh, to look at it on film. Uh, but the reality is all we've done is add a word. Okay, and again, don't worry about what you see up there. But we've added a word. We're going to run Wyoming. We're going to run Wyoming. And then we're going to say purple Wyoming. And everybody's blocking the same thing. Everybody's blocking the same people. Aggressive up front and then make sure that we get our heads back after you know, one or two counts, make sure we get our heads back and, and pass protect. Okay, obviously uh, seven step timing uh, for the quarterback. The first one we're gonna look at, guys, is, is my favorite one. Okay, and it's, we call it X-ray. Now we go Z circus over here, you know, which is a, a, a 15 to 21 uh, yard circus route. Okay, but the reality, we've never thrown the Z circus. If we get blitz coverage uh, or, or some kind of man look where he just feels like it's a gimme and we wanna throw it, we can throw it. But the reality is, all right, we are reading the X. Okay, so the X will be in a cut split, man, about six yards from the offensive tackle. Okay, he is going to run an alley release at the safety. Okay, it's, a, it's, it's great versus every coverage, man, but it's awesome versus qu quarters coverage. He's going he's gonna to inside release hard, all right, to 10 yards at the near safety. It's an alley release. Okay, at 10 yards, he is going to push up now to 18, and he's going to get vertical. At 18, if it's too deep or the middle of the field is closed, he's going to sit down right there. He's going to sit down and drop his weight at 18 yards, all right, and he'll be the first read for the quarterback. Okay, if he is even with the defender, all right, uh, in quarters or even with the defender in man-to-man, -man, he's leaving. He's running. Okay, and he's going to take the near hash, let the throw bring him into the middle of the field. Okay, uh, the, the second element here on this is uh, the H, or your fullback, okay, He'll go and he'll, he'll run a bloody flat on the will. So he will try to, all right, unless the will is great and the will just retreats right now, he's going to try to bloody the will and then he's going to run a flat. Okay, and again, we're going uh, to work the X down to the bloody flat to the check through. Okay, so again, the Z is not part of it. The Y is in in this protection. Okay, so for our, for our, our, don't really worry about what this stuff says up here. That's just our diagram and it saved us time. But the reality is for this room right now, we're going to say this is purple Wyoming x-ray. That's it. And you, you can call it whatever you want, all right? But it, for our purposes right now in this room, this is purple Wyoming x-ray, okay? And I, I wish I could say to you, I mean, guys, I literally could have put 15 of these plays on here. Okay, so here's, here's, a, here's, a, uh, here's a look at it, all right, versus uh, uh, the University of Virginia. Again, they are a double rifle uh, blitz team a lot, or they were under Coach Reed. Okay, so uh, I'm sorry that my GA uh, put this on first, but this is uh, one of the harder ones to do. But think about it. Your fullback has the will, and the will walked up on the line of scrimmage. So what we're going to do in this case is we are going to fan the front side, tackle on the will, guard, all right, is now going to be on the defensive end, okay, and the center is going to work back to the pinch and three technique, okay. All right, so we'll just see it here. So he's saying right now, because this will has walked, He's saying fan, fan, fan. Okay, so remember now, this was the this was the Will's this was the fullback's man, the Will. All right, so we're gonna go fan, fan. He's gonna work this way, and now he'll be on the mic. Okay, the center used to have the mic. Now is working in front side, and then uh, we're obviously we're uh, on, on, on on the back side. All right, so again, I will help you with the protection. Let me get out of the way so I can show you the route. Okay, we got the circus over here, bloody flat, check through by the tailback. Here's the X-ray. Okay, about uh, six yards from the tackle, he's going to alley release. If, if at uh, 10 yards, he's even, he's leaving. So right now he's gone. That ball is launched. Again, we want to stay on the hash, hold the hash as long as we can so nobody on the backside can, can be a part of it. And this is, this is one of our, 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 our favorite throws of the quarterbacks. Again, so if we just stopped it right now, men, okay, just forget about that they're coming with a blitz. Right now we are on, okay? The fullback is here on the will. These two right here are gonna A back here, all right? And then these three have these three. If they just stayed here in over defense, then these two would work back to here and he'd be here. 
Now, here's a coaching point. The tight ends are not very good against six techniques. The tight ends are even worse versus seven technique. So what we tell, all right, that what we tell these guys is that normally this would be a B technique back to here. We tell this tackle to give a hand here but have his eyes here. Okay, in this instance, both the Sam and the Will walk up. So all we're saying on the front side is fan, fan, fan. We'll bring him here, and now he'll, he'll have him. And you'll see it from the end zone. Okay, again, you want to make sure you hold your, hold your, uh, your, your, your area here, try to hug the hash, and he'll throw you into this area here. Okay, got, obviously that was, that was one versus blitz. You'll see a number of them here. Okay, again, why is this good? All right, we're in a wing formation now. Most teams all right, will want to play with a, a wing with a hard corner all right, and a low safety. In this case, it's quarters over here, which is absolutely perfect. All right, we, we've been coming at them over here with 15-week uh, or Wyoming, Wyoming, and now all of a sudden we're going purple Wyoming. We're going to run right by them. Again, they have a slant on, so he'll find his will outside, and it's physical. So if you're this safety man, what are you seeing? Okay, and again, that's the, that's, that's the beauty of the bloody flat. Okay, he will be a late element in the flat. Okay, so if on one hitch he doesn't launch it now, he can look here and then to here. This circus is really important. Again, we, uh, uh, whether it's here in a radical inside release, or it's, in this case, a wing back pushing vertical. We want to make sure we attract this guy. We don't want him running over the top late. Again, we'll see the protection again. So, all right, so if we're in this situation here, now the guard is uncovered. So, uh, in this case, the guard will single back here. All right, the tackle is on. Okay, these guys are being back to here. We call this a hang. If he's here, we don't need to aggressively go here. We just need to give a hand and give, make sure that we are helping our tight end out. These three have these three. He's a free releaser. Okay, again, bloody flat, check through. Everybody on the same page? Okay, again, downhill demeanor. Again, if, if you have somebody coming out of the huddle that could say, uh, we use the word pepper. You could use whatever word you want to word, but there's gotta be some word that these guys understand. I, yeah, I know it's passed, but I am, I am getting my pads down and I am coming off the ball. And if you have a, 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 a play action captain of one of your linemen, and he can, and he can add that to you, uh, you'll get better at it. We don't, we don't want high hats, okay? Again, if, if you're playing a team with active safeties, they're gonna be watching the uncovered linemen. We don't want high hats, we want them lower than this. And this bloody flat's gonna help you a lot. One hitch, now two hitches now, you better, there's times what, what he, he's, he's got two hitches sometimes and he can't get the ball out there. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta hitch and throw. All right, so again, we got a cut split at the top. We don't want this. So again, guys, I'm just telling you, this was the first year that we ran this and we had high hats too many times. Okay, we don't want this. We want our pads down. Okay, so remember, men, if it's middle of the field closed or cover two, middle of the field closed or cover two, at 18 yards, he's sitting down. All right, so he is attacking the alley, pushing from 10, he's pushing to 18. He's a little shallow here, but that is the effect that we want. All right, they lose the will because of the bloody flat. They lose the will because of the bloody flat. It's a hard play to defend. It's a simple play for your quarterback. It's a hard play to defend. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, again, so there's no bad questions in here. So if it's split safeties, he's going to sit down. If it's middle of the field closed, he's going to sit down. Anything else... If he's even with the safety or the corner or whoever's covering, he is going. He's gone. Okay, and again, guys, uh, I've seen this also where he, takes, where he catches the ball at 18 and he drop steps, okay, and he gets another seven, eight yards. So you're talking about a 25-yard throw with a stationary target, which is very hard to find in college football. It's hard to, it's hard to find in football in general, okay? The other thing I want to share with you, because this is something that we really believe in at the University of Miami. We believe in drilling down and teaching the fundamentals. For four or five minutes before every practice, we, we have what's called a noose drill. And we put a cone there, and we put a cone there, and every receiver on our team, they'll just jog back and forth, okay, a couple times, and then, and then, and then the, uh, the quarterback, somebody will say go, and they'll throw them the ball. 
and he'll be wherever he is, whichever pad the quarterback throws the ball to. So if he throws it to this pad, he's got to drop, step, and dunk. Okay? So often, the reason these hitches, these curls, all right, this x-ray don't work very well is because they want to take it and they want to turn like the Titanic. Okay? And then they're getting, they're getting clobbered. Okay? The best way to do it is you want to catch it and then drop, step, and dunk, just like you would in, in, in basketball. Catch it out in front of you, drop, step, and dunk. You'll see it constantly repeat in everything that we do. We call it a noose drill. We have five shoots where all the guys are doing is just going back and forth, and then, and then, and then the quarterback will throw it, and he'll, he'll get it here, turn this way, or get it here and turn this way. So many times that when we get them, guys, they're catching the ball, and they're going like this. They're just running laterally. Teach them to drop, step, and dunk. Teach them to drop, step, and dunk. And that's one of the things that uh, you'll see here that, that we're working on constantly. But I want to make sure you guys understand how we're working on it. Again, a little bit, a little bit too shallow. Good timing by the quarterback. Okay, so again, let's look at it to make sure we're all on the same page. Here's the will. We say this is the mic, that's the will. The fullback's got the will. Okay, so we're on here. He's uncovered. So right now, he's signaling back to the mic. These three have these three. I'm sure they made an out call. They did. So if, if the Sam's on the line of scrimmage, okay, and this is like a solid, an overload solid uh, defense, out, out, out. Okay. X-ray, body flat, check through. Great job with his feet. Again, catch it, new drill. Drop, step, and dunk. Coach, on that route, on the 18 hook, if you throw a straight middle and you've seen that safety belt make you hook, do you drop step to the inside? It. Like if the ball's like hit me right there in the middle, and I've, I've hooked up, so I've seen safety belt. Do yeah. I drop step back to the inside because safety belt? Uh, we don't really we don't really coach that. If he if he thinks it's it's more on this number, he'll just drop step that way. Yeah, we don't we, okay. we don't overcoach. Yeah, but you're right. On this particular throw, it's almost right down the middle, right? But you're right. Okay, so here's some looks, and again, it doesn't really matter. We can learn from 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 any any program. All right, so this is like a lot of you guys will see uh, what we call brown coverage, which is quarters coverage with the corners press. So this is all right quarters uh, press coverage. So right now he knows he's going to run right by the safety. Does a great job of holding the hash for the throw. Let the quarterback throw you to the middle of the field. Hold that hash for us. Give us room to throw. Again, bloody flat. <coughs> great job. All right, the tailback takes one for the team. Okay. But again, nice job by the fullback. Okay, again, so we're all on the same page. Purple, Wyoming, x-ray. Simple as that. Call from the line of scrimmage if you want. This is all part of our, our, you know, our, our, our teach tape. We get it from multiple sources, and we just catalog them and log them and share them with you here. Okay, this was a uh, you know, formation into the sideline in this case. So he's obviously going to go to the far hash here. You guys that see blitz, you guys that see that quarters press, hard. Hard to deal with because this guy doesn't know what to do. Bloody flat here. Okay, so again, uh, in this case, what we're seeing here is a cover two shell with a safety all right, that's trying to, you know, basically, uh, they're trying to steal the safety and run force versus the wing. Okay, so again, six yards. Watch the x-ray. All right, alley release at 10 yards. He's reading. Good job here with the drop step. Again, we're bloody flat, but we're not going to chase a bailing linebacker. We're not going to chase a bailing linebacker. And this is more what we want. Let's attack them. Let's attack them. As soon as they feel pass rush and start to transition, snap your head back. Get your hands inside and snap your head back. You don't want to be overextended. If you keep overextending, they're going to pull you and swim you. Okay? Make contact, and, and before they can react, snap your head back and sit. Snap your head back and drop your anchor.
Again, good job by the left tackle here. All right, the, these, these three have these three. He's not going to hang the tight end out to dry. Okay, again, so once, once you have, once you, again, guys, the biggest thing is just to make sure you understand the protection, how aggressive it is, and all the little nuances with it. Once you get the protection, you can draw them up all day. Okay, and again, for, for the next one, all right, we're, we're just calling it, uh, we want to get the Z in, 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 a, in a close proximity. You can motion them up in there or line them up in there. But again, uh, bloody flat by the H, check through here by the R, the X is on a go. If we're going to throw the X, we want to make sure that throw, all right, is landing uh, five yards from the sideline, 40 yards deep. Okay, so he's number one on the progression. Then we'll take a look at, at what we call a Dover, a deep over route. Again, we are, we are pressing all right, up the field at 10, stair step in 15, and then we're going to try to catch this ball between the hash and the numbers at 25 yards. Okay, so this is just, again, we could draw them up all day. I want to make sure you understand the, the, the PAPs, and you come out of here, and then you draw up uh, based on, on what you're seeing. Uh, clearly, in this case, uh, uh, clearly in this case, if, if there's a third defender here, if there's a third defender there, he's either got to run, all right, or come off. He's either got to run or come off, and this guy's got to take that, which most people don't do. They leave the corner on here, and now the safety's at a disadvantage trying to cover the deep over. If it's cover two, again, this guy should jam and carry, okay, and come off here. This safety needs to extend. Again, it's very difficult. It's, it's a lot harder than you think. Okay, and then you have a, you, uh, you always have, in this case, a, a third level or the bloody flat. So again, we're going to go X to the over to the bloody flat here. So again, it depends what you want to do. Uh, you can, uh, in, in this case, I think he was on a circus, all right, but we're a deep over here, bloody flat here. That bloody flat is, is, is all the difference in the world. It looks like it's the same uh, type of coverage, right? It looks like it's quarters again. Both safeties are down low. Corners are running man to man. Impossible here. Impossible in this instance to cover it. And I'm just trying to make sure you get an idea. Okay, so again, we'll go back to the protection. All right, he's covered, so he's on. Okay, again, here, these two are now going to single back to the mic, and it's these three for these three. Get your pads down. He's bloody flat in here, and he's free release on the check through. Again, you can run him on a go. Uh, this was a circus. Again, it depends on, on what you're seeing. Okay. All right. So now, uh, again, I, I'm not. I, you, you guys, there's a lot of routes in the world, so uh, feel free to look at them. But all right, this one here now is four or five week, four or five week. What we call Washington. Again, call it whatever you want to call it. All right. So we're going to have Washington. Then we're also going to have uh, uh, past Washington or purple, whatever, however you want to call it. So for our purposes here, this is four and five week, uh, which is inside zone to the open side. Okay. So. All right, now the guard is uncovered now, so he is going to double, all right, so he's going to double, meaning he's going to peak, all right, the five technique, okay, and going up to the will now, because there's no lead back. Again, so on the back side, these two are, are working uh, to the back side here, all right, in this case, uh, uh, a different look than we normally get with a zero and a three, so these two would normally be being here, all right, and these two have these two. We'll just see it from the end zone. Again, we don't want to turn. We don't want to turn. We want to be down the sternum. Okay. Again, the uh, aim point for the tailback is still the outside leg of the guard. It's important that the tailback does not cut in the backfield. Step on the heels. Step on the, on the uh, uh, do not make any cuts till you get to the line of scrimmage. Press the line of scrimmage. Okay, good job here by the left guard on the zone. Okay, checking any, any uh, stunt here by the end. He's up to the will. Again, this was, it, again, guys, it, it, it's all a game plan. We'll go back to the end zone. Okay, obviously, if, if this was a shade, okay, then, then they would be here on the front side singling to the will. This is a zero, so we, we decided to leave that here. These guys are being back here. These two have a combination of this safety or this corner, depending. We probably left the corner, but went here. Again, this was a, the first play of the game, and they gave us a zero nose. So I know he was thinking, 
I know he was thinking that, uh, that he should uh, go this way, but he does a great job of knowing who his linebacker is. So to technically, these two have these, these two here. And, but he does a great job of going back. The uh, running back does a great job of having his shoulder squaring, pressing it. Again, I'm just showing you four and five week, and then we'll, then we'll look at the, the, uh, the play action game off it. Okay, again, as we look at this now, okay, it's, uh, he's on, all right, now we have an A-gap, so these two are now singling, all right, to the will. Okay, on the back side now, these two are being, all right, uh, back to, to uh, the mic, all right, and these two have these two. Okay, now, if, if the mic ends up inside the three technique, we call it a Rico B. And I'll get to the end zone, I mean ricochet B. That means the guard is just going to give a hand and go, based on how aggressive they are. So obviously this outfit here is a down, downhill outfit. So they're playing a G technique here. So these guys are singling to seven. These two are being to 11. That's one of the things that we always talk about. It's not good enough just to say uh, B, B, B on the three technique on the back side. Make sure they know who they're going to. What we don't want right now is these guys saying B, B, B back to him. Okay, so if we got someone in the B gap, these guys are going to double team, all right, all right, backside scoop to the 11, uh, number 11 here. So if he's inside and fast downhill, he'll just, he'll try to not take too much. You just give him a hand or a shoulder, and he's going to come off him on the backside. And then these two have these two. These two are singling here. Again, a little bit different out of the gun, but it's really important. All right, that he tries to press it and then, and then uh, cut it back. So now when we go to pass, when we go to pass four and five week, okay, now the tailback has the will. The tailback has the will. Now you can put him on a bloody flat if you want, but the tailback has the will, okay? So the offensive line is actually blocking it like the two back. The offensive line is actually blocking it like the two back, if that makes sense. For you guys that like to have two tight ends in the game, Okay, you could easily put a tight end in the game, and those three can block those three, and you can free release your tailback. That's fine too. Uh, it's just whatever works uh, best for you. Uh, in our, in this instance, this is from our 11 personnel package. We want to make sure again that we're aggressive. We're on. We're on. We're or aiming to the backside, Mike, and then we're mangoing on on the backside. And again, the the routes really are, are not as as uh, important as making sure you understand the play action uh, pass concept. All right, because the routes can change every week, or you can have some base ones that you like to keep uh, week in and week out. And this one here, all right, obviously we're faking uh, one back uh, inside zone to the open side. And in this case here, the H, because the Y is in, the H is running what we call a kite route. He'll start like a corner, sit down. The Z is going to run a far corner, all right, very similar to that Dover we saw before. And the X is going to run a sword, all right, which is a, a 17 to 20 yard. Um, uh, in cut here. Okay, so uh, this is going to be our read here, men. Okay, the only time we ever come back to the sword is versus cover two. Again, if it's uh, uh, post coverage or they have an outside third defender, he's the one who's in a jam. Does he sit on this or sink? Again, they're expecting a stunt here. I just don't like all right, how passive that is. We want to be more aggressive here. Obviously, the left guard is, is, uh, has got his hands full in this play. Good. This ball should be caught at 20, 25 yards on the opposite hash. He's running the kite route. He's doing a great job. This ends up being three deep. Okay, so in this case, Georgia Tech's running a fire zone. They're bringing both outside linebackers in a 3-4. Those are your five rushers. These are your three underneath. He's an outside third, which a lot of teams versus a wing like to cheat that guy down. Hence, we like to run the kite route on the back side. We like to start at the corner, sit him down, suck the corner in, and run it behind him. Okay, and again, so uh, it's always the monkey in the middle game, no matter what. We're always trying to play a high-low or, or a, a horizontal, excuse me, or a, a, a horizontal game uh, against them. So uh, in this case here, he's only going to get it uh, if it's cover two. Uh, I think we ran a... a uh, two posts in this, in this game, again, that's not really important. In this case here, he's running the kite route, sucking that corner in, and we're throwing it 25 yards between the hash and the numbers. All 
I still think it's the hardest thing to defend. You guys that know me know I, 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 I cut my teeth as a defensive coordinator, as a defensive coach. It's still the hardest thing to defend in football. Play action uh, and the naked, nakeds that come off it are, are still the hardest things to, to uh, great job here keeping his pads low by the, the off guard. Again, if it's a 3-4 and they have a bubble, all right, these linebackers are, are going to key through here, okay, or the uh, secondary force players, the, the, the corners, the safeties, they're going to key through the un, unblocked guy to see. And if he can get his pads down like that, that's really going to help us. Again, this is a freshman here. We want to be aggressive. As soon as, we feel, as soon as we feel a transition, now we want to drop our anchor, get our head back. Snap our head back, drop our anchor, have a good base. Now he's athletic, so he can recover, but we want to get his head back quicker than that. Really, really well done by the, by the cue. Again, another, another route. Again, we could draw the routes all day. I hope they give you some ideas, but the reality is we're not, really not here for the routes. We're here to make sure that we can marry the run game with the play action to give defenses a lot of problems. This, this route is called fork. Again, the X will be on an 18-yard post route now. We'll peak the X first, okay, and then we're going to go corner down to the bloody flat. So the uh, post player is on, uh, excuse me, the X is on a post 18 yards, okay, to the near hash. The Z is on a Don corner. Again, the reason he's on a Don corner is because of the play action. If it wasn't play action, we would just let him run a corner. The Don corner, all the Don corner means is that at 10 yards, he is taking two to three steps to the post, and then he's breaking it from 12 to 22. And you have to, it has to time up with the quarterback off the action face, fake, so we call it a Don corner. Otherwise, the, otherwise he's out there uh, uh, too quickly. So we call it a Don corner, and we make sure he takes two to three steps, okay, to uh, the post, okay, and then he comes to the corner. All right, he's going from 12 to 22. I know this is not drawn really well, but he's going 12 to 22. If there's a, uh, a high corner outside of him, the quarterback will throw him flat, throw him flat at 17 or 18 yards, but he will take a high corner route and let the quarterback throw you flat. And then again, this ends up being a three level, all right, with the bloody flat. Uh, on the backside uh, is always kind of our cover two bailout. Okay, we can always go back on the backside, whether it's a basic or a sword. In this case, it's a basic because it's a tight end uh, formation. Okay, again, the Y is in in all these. So we'll take a look. Oh, did I miss one? <coughs> okay, pretty good job coming off. Again, I, I'd like to see him be a little bit more aggressive. He's got a wide five, so he's got to be a little bit more careful, but good job here with his pads down. All the same protections we've been wor working. Okay, again, he's, he's, on the, uh, uh, he's on the post at 18 yards. Okay, now what happens here? Now, this is difficult. Because of where we are, we're in the middle of the field. This was a little bit difficult. And, and if this guy, if he could have just held, held him a little bit more here, okay, with that inside leverage, he would have had an opportunity to be open. He's not open right now, okay, on that second hitch. That ball has got to go to the, to the flat right now. Otherwise, he's in trouble. So, good job. Second and seven, we're going to get a first down. Well done by the quarterback. Okay, and if it's not there, fine. Let's look at the protection. In this case, we're in under defense. On, on. These two are working back to the mic in what we call an A, okay? And then these two have these two, either mango or, or whatever, whatever they determine, all right? They could both put their hands on this guy if he's off, or in this case, they can go out, out. Okay, again, he's got, all right, he's got the will in a bloody flat. So he will attack him. And the, the other reason this is good is because if you ever want to do the flea flicker, it's the same thing. He's going to start down at the will, take the ball, throw it back, and then turn right, right back around and get the will. So again, it, it's, we always like to say the word, the phrase same as, as many times as you can say same as, your offensive line, your tailbacks, you're gonna have less uh, uh, errors. And I think we led the ACC in, in least amount of sacks this year. Again, the, the will bailed. The will bailed, so what we're really telling the tailback guys is at three yards, man, go ahead. If he's not there at three yards, go ahead and take your flat. Get your width. Good job by the quarterback. Again, his feet tell him where to go to the ball. When do they throw interceptions is when they're on their second, okay, uh, or third hitch, and now they want to throw the ball down the field. Nuh-uh. 
You, you, that third hitch, that second or third hitch, now you're off it, you're down here to your flat, all right? Limit your losses, get a first down and, and move on. This next one is uh, just a, another idea. Instead of a post here, now we'll run a go. Again, this is called divide. Again, we have the cover two uh, answer on the back side here in the sword, all right? Uh, 17 to uh, uh, 22 yards on the back side. Okay, but it's a go. All right, again, the Don corner because of the action, all right, 12 to 22, and then the, and then the, uh, uh, the bloody flat by the uh, tailback. Again, I apologize for standing in front of you guys here. Just different ways to, he's going one hitch right now, he's, he's peaking on the go, he doesn't like the go. Again, uh, on, on this particular instance, it looks like they're playing half over here, right, and quarters over here. So we love this play versus quarters. We love divide versus quarters. We love fork versus quarters really hard. Great job on the Don. One, two, three. Let the quarterback flatten you out. Again, th again this is like 400 level football here, guys. He's coming out of the corner seeing, he's coming out of the corner route seeing the corner here, and he's leveling it off. But let, let, let your quarterback flatten out. Take, take, Take your angle to 22 and let the quarterback flatten you out. Again, really good job. Okay, again, just can't be as aggressive with a wide five, but good job with his base and getting his head back. So we call this uh, divide. Let's take a look at a couple of different ones. Here's one out of 11 personnel. It looks like 12. This looks like a tight end here. Again, we're on a go here. All right, 40 by five. If you're gonna catch it, you're gonna catch it 40 yards down the field, five yards from the, from the uh, sideline. Again, Don Corner, right here. Doesn't like it. His feet tell him right now to go to the flat. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. So again, as we look at the protection, okay, this is uh, basically an even defense. So here we are on, on, all right? Uh, he's got the will. These two should be working back here. These two are here, okay? Again, he ends up working back. He's just, he just seeing a heavy uh, uh, three technique or almost a two technique. He's expecting some kind of spike in here, so he's being careful, but everybody ends up on the correct guys. Again, overzealous tackle. This is what we talked about earlier. This is very hard. These six and seven techniques are very hard on the tight end. These two have these guys. There's no need, there's no re uh, reason to do that. Just set inside, set on the inside number, have your head back, strong inside arm. How are we doing on time? We're doing okay? All right, so let's see what else we got here. Okay, so now. We're going to run uh, power. We call it jersey. You, call, you know, again, whatever you want to call it. We also run it with a wing, where we call it jersey load or power load, right? But I'll just I'll show you a couple clips, and then we'll show the action that comes off of it. Okay, so in this look here, again, they're in a, uh, a, a you know kind of an overload look here with a three, a six, a Sam, and a corner outside. Not not the greatest look, all right, to run it against. Okay, but basically what we're going to do is now the tailback. He's going to take one lateral step, and his aim point is going to be the inside leg of the guard. All right, the quarterback cannot push him off the, uh, off the midline. Okay, so the quarterback's got to reverse out and get the hell out of the way. Okay, all right, uh, don't worry about this guy right here. This is like having the Z. Okay, the tight end is on. The tight end is on. He's blocking on. If he's uncovered, he's inside. Okay, uh, the tackle, uh, in this case, is, is, is inside. They're, they're, they are going to either tray. He's either going to tray versus five with a tight end, or he's going to deuce versus three in this case. So they are going to deuce back to the will. Okay, the guard, the center is back. The guard is pulling for the front side. Mike, the backside ta tackle is what we call reach and hinge. So reach like you're cutting off, and then hinge. The fullback is blocking the outside linebacker. Okay, the fullback is blocking the first outside linebacker, the first linebacker to the play side, or the first thing that shows up outside the tight end. Okay, and again, this is, diff this is a tough one they started with because this is uh, what we call load power, 
because we have a wing in place here. So don't really concern yourself with this. So tight end is on, okay? If there was a five technique here, okay, all right, with a, with a shade here, then these guys would be training back to the will. In this case, he's on, there's a three technique. So these two are deucing back to the will. We're back here by the center, okay? Uh, it is a drop step for the backside guard, three steps and get your butt up field. Three steps and get your butt up field. Again, a lot of garbage in there on this one, so it's a tough one to look at. Good job by the tailback, lateral step, downhill. The good tailbacks that run this play, they stay inside the guard. Giving them a landmark is great, all right? The landmark is inside leg of the guard. The center is back, all right? It's a, it's a three-step pull and inside for the mic for the backside guard. Reach and hinge here by the backside tackle. Fullback is blocking the SAM or the first thing that shows outside the tight end. We'll see it from the end zone. Again, I'm just showing you a couple of clips. This is, this is one of our best plays. Great patient on the deuce block. Great patience. Nice and square. Four hands, four eyes on the deuce. Back to the will. Back to the will. Three steps get vertical. Three steps get vertical. Too many. Too many steps. Three steps, get in here. Get in here. And again, the tailback is, is, is just a different cat. He's just, he, he could slide laterally. Great vision. Inside the guard though, excellent. Great finish here. Great finish here. Excellent job here blocking the force. Okay, now everybody watch this right here because you're gonna see you're going to see how this marries with flow pass, pass with him running a hitch and this guy running a flat here in a minute. Again, we have a six technique, all right? Uh, the fullback is on the SAM. We're on here. We are deucing back to the will. Backside guard is pulling around for the mic. Center is back, reaching hinge here. The left guard in this case, I think, does a great job. Three steps and get vertical. Three steps and get vertical. We'll see it from the end zone. All right, again, tight end, tight end is on. Tight end is on. We're going to motion the Z in, and we're going to block the safety. And it's important that you understand that because we're going to marry that to what we call flow pass snag here in a minute. But he's on. We are deucing to the backside will. We are back. Three-step pull for the mic. Reach and hinge here on the backside. Reach and hinge. No, more aggressive than that. Reach like the ball is running outside zone away. Reach and hinge. Okay, stay inside the pulling guard. Watch him stay inside the pulling guard, man. It's really important. You can say, hey, man, that's your landmark all you want, but the bottom line is if he stays inside the pulling guard, you're going to have a great play more often than not. Okay, so all right, now what we call flow pass. Uh, some of you guys may know it as K2 uh, protection. Okay, but all we're basically doing is we are gapping back we are gapping back and we'll run it with what we call Z arrow, Z arrow, you might call it snag. Bottom line is we get the Z or the tight end in this position, he's running a five yard hitch. All right, on that five yard hitch, you wanna, you wanna turn your numbers to the quarterback, you wanna make any defender go over the top of you. It's really important that the defender, if he's trying to cover the flat, has to go over the top of you. You can shuffle inside or out depending on your leverage, but regardless of that, if you get the ball, whatever pad that ball goes to, make sure you drop, step, and dunk from there. All right, the H is a free releaser, okay? The H is a free releaser right now. He's going for width. He wants to be three yards at the bottom of the numbers. All right, the, the tailback's got the first thing outside the tackle. All right, and again, you can cut or, or you, 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 whatever you want to do. I don't know if you can cut in high school or not. Uh, we've messed around with it. Our bigger backs will go and cut the inside leg our smaller backs will just go and wrestle with them. They'll stay up and be aggressive with them. Okay, everybody else is what we, what we call an L call or a left call, and everybody's blocking the left side gap. Now, right now, if you could think of under defense with a shade, a five, and a nine, it's really important to understand if the only way the tackle is going to block the five technique is if he comes inside. And if you got really good tackles, man, if you got really good tackles, all right, what they'll do is, they will step inside, have their eyes inside. If the, if, if, he, if the five technique or the four technique steps inside, he's just going to pull them. He's just going to pull them. 
Because remember, if that end is coming inside, that usually means the SAM is coming. Okay, that usually means the SAM is coming. So if the tailback is blocking the end and the tackle's not blocking anybody, okay, then you have a little problem here. I'll show it to you uh, on, on the film. All right, uh, the, the, the quarterback is reversing out. You're going to flat until you can't. If you could throw the flat, throw the flat right now, okay, and then, uh, then we're going to go to the hitch. All right, very seldom do we hit the corner here. It's a 12 to 20, uh, two yard corner. Again, we're running, we're running power. We showed you the, the load power versus Georgia Tech. We're gapping it back. Everything's uh, uh, on the front side for the quarterback. Again, if he feels like we got leverage here, he's going to throw it right here. If not, he's going to come to the hitch. So we're going flat to hitch. Reverse out. Okay, so a young, a young freshman here. Okay, young freshman. We don't, we want to, we want to jab and look, get our eyes inside. The only time, we never want to chase like this. Obviously you see a veteran here and a veteran here. No chasing. So he's covered, so he's covered, so he's, he's, he's jabbing with his hand. If he's covered, he's jabbing with his hands and his eyes are in his gap. Now when his, now when his gap gets threatened, now he can put both hands here. But other than that, just stay right here. Just stay right here at your second level. So, so in this case, there's no reason for that front side tackle to run down in there. Okay, the, the mic might be wrapping around or might be blitzing late and you don't want to do that. Fullback is free release, the tailback's got the first thing outside the tackle. Again, guys, I told you we changed it up. In, in this particular instance, uh, you know, we, we let him stay high and, okay, again, inside release for the tight end, 12 to 22. Again, great job just, just taking where the ball is thrown and running with it. So we call this flow pass. You call it whatever you want. People call it K2 snag a lot in the West Coast system. But again, we would prefer that this guy have to go over the top, but he, he was very shallow here. Sit down at five yards. Sit down. Give the quarterback your chest. And then whatever he throws it, Take, take off. I'd rather see him do this. I'd rather see him go right here. More often than not, that's, that's uh, much better than this. These are the kind of plays when you start running laterally, these guys come back in and, and uh, knock the football out. Again, if he feels like he has the flat, go to it. He didn't feel like he, we, uh, we got leverage, so he went right to the hitch right away. Okay, in this case, uh, it's, a, it's an, a kind of an under G front, Sam and G3. Five with the wheel coming up, okay, which is great. We love it versus that because it's a gap protection. Yes, sir. Everybody see this tackle? He's got a five technique. If this Sam was on the line, he might say, you know what, if this guy comes inside, I'm going to scoop him up so that we don't have to throw hot, okay? Any combination of Sam or strong safety coming, we're, we're going to throw hot right now to the flat. All right, because the quarterback, you know, it's about five-step time, and he's reversing out, setting, and he'll throw. Again, see the patience here? He's going to jab anybody that's not in his gap but have his eyes in his gap. Eyes in his gap. So if this guy continued to come, he's going to come off, see? It's really well done by these guys. This is a veteran offensive line with everybody back, so it's exciting for us. But just a nice job of, of, of stepping laterally. No reason to really move your outside leg at all for either of these guys. Just one step, one jab step, eyes inside. Again, the, the flow pass or the K2 snag, or whatever you want to call it, this comes off of, this comes off of uh, the, the power look if you're on defense. Again, 12 to 22 corner. Flat till you can't. If you got the flat right now, okay, in this case, they got a corner fire. So that, that's a hot read for us. Corner strong safety or, or Sam coming. We're going to throw it to the flat right now. Again, not a great gain, but, you know, six or seven yards against, against uh, pressure. 
Again, great patience here. He's not chasing, okay? This is Chantrell Henderson not chasing. Just nice, easy, one or two shuffle steps. Not like the freshman running down in there because sometimes you get that second level guy. Well done. Okay, so I'm just going to run through these pretty quickly, but the next one is just outside zone to the open side. Okay, so all the same uh, assignments, guys, that we were running in uh, Wyoming, we're running now in Washington, uh, excuse me, in Wyoming extra or outside zone. We're just going to take a wider course now. So we're all trying to capture uh, the outside number. Everybody's got the same assignments uh, that they did all right, when we ran Wyoming. Okay, we're just going to run it wider. The backside now, the backside, so we are on, okay, obviously the fullback is blocking the wheel. These two are aiming back to the mic. Now the backside, instead of being here, the backside is what we call BSPT, backside pulling technique. Everybody is flat and either cutting or going to the second level because it's an outside zone. The tailback now is aim point is the, the, uh, the outside leg of the tight end. So we want to get a little bit uh, wider aim point for the tailback. Again, he didn't, need to, he didn't need to cut this one back. Again, I think he's seeing this guy here, but we, we should have this guy blocked. Just, just stay, with, stay with your landmark. Again, great run. I don't want to coach him too much. From split backs now, Okay, so as we look at it now, he's got the will. He's got the will. We're on here. These two should be singling. All right, back here. All right, these guys should be being or, or out in this case. Here. Okay? Now, again, it, it, this was not by design. This was not by the design because this guy right now, all right, even if, if they, these two did this, this tackle should go up and get him. This is the will's guy. Uh, you know, they end up sorting it out and the will ends up on the right guy, but this is not how we want to block it. Again, I apologize for that, but at least you get an opportunity to see it. Again, this was a young man that came to us, and you see how important it is to have the ball in the right arm. You're protecting. Again, we did a great job. He does a great job of holding the ball high and tight the whole time. The ball is quiet. The ball is not, the ball is not all over the place. It's nice and quiet. He can use a stiff arm if he needs to. Just the little things like that that we try to we try to make sure we, we, uh, we really teach the fundamentals. Okay, both these here, if, we're not, if we don't have a bubble on, both these guys are on. Okay, let's look at it this way now. Again, the fullback's got the will. We're on here. These two are singling back to the mic. All right, and again, we're going to backside pulling technique. So we are going to run on the backside in this case. And we, don't, we do not mind the fullback cutting the will on the second level. Again, all these guys are disciplined. They do a great job with the football. And it wasn't something that the previous staff uh, taught. It's whatever is important to you. We just believe in it. We believe in having the ball in the proper arm all the time. We reduced our, our turnover margin uh, greatly. Again, he's got a weapon if he needs it. And there's no way they're going to get that football. Okay, so uh, in, in terms of 18 and 19, outside zone, all we do is run rope and lasso. You know, and that's just our, our naked fake off of it. I'll just show you some of them here because we got we to get going. And I want to just show you one more play that I think is a great one that you might want to diagram. So, again, we really don't worry uh, so much about blocking the outside zone. We just call rope and lasso where everybody's just, you know, it's elephants on parade. Okay? And we've got a good ball fake. Come out of here with, with height and width. Now attack the line of scrimmage. We're always working the flat. All right, we, we can peak this depending on what the route is, but we're always going to work the clobber flat, okay, or the down flat, all right, to the over. Again, I'm not really as concerned. just want to make sure you understand. When we're running outside zone week, now we're going to marry that with the naked. Okay, on outside zone with the run, we got the naked fake coming out of it. Now we're going to run the naked. Everything that we do is married up to give the defense a lot of trouble. I'm going to just show you a couple different looks. Again, anytime a team plays a version of cover three, 
third, 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 but they cheat on the back side because of a wing set or a tight end, we got to make them pay for it. Okay, so here's this guy getting over here late. All right, so this is the guy with, with the trouble here. We're either going to be here or here. Great job uh, getting the ball to him again. Get your pads down. Get your pads down. Too high here. Too high. I'm just going to keep showing you a couple different looks here. So again, for Jed's first year with us, Jed came from the NFL, and it was always like, uh, you know, you could call it however you want to call it, but it was always like uh, uh, ace right, fake, right? You guys are laughing, right? It was always like fake 19, uh, weak, keep, right, and then all the routes. And then we said, you know what, it's lasso. When we're going to the left, it's lasso. When we're going to the right, it's, it's rope. And if you got him for eight days, you can use all that stuff. It sounds good when Gruden has the quarterbacks in there around the draft, but for the rest of us, man, this is just lasso. <laughs> We're running, we're running high to the over, high to the over. Again, in this case, we want to make sure that he doesn't throttle down. Just keep running, okay? Keep, ex keep extending for us, and we'll throw it to the second level. Again, it's, it's, that, that, that's not as important. I just want to make sure you understand what's married up with the outside zone, and that's our, that's our keeper game. All right, so I want to show you this route, because I think if you're going to draw a route here today, this is the one to draw, okay? Anytime we're playing a quarters team or a cover two team, we always want to have what we call KC, Kansas City, okay? And really what it is, man, is we'll have an acute out here, which is a 14-yard comeback. If we get cover two, he'll convert to a go. As the quarterback comes out on the keeper, all right, if, if he has the acute, he, he'll take it, meaning if the middle of the field is closed and it's post coverage, he'll take it right now. If not, he's going to set up, all right, in this C gap and launch it here all right, to, to this over route. So generally everybody starts to run with the over route because they think it's uh, a normal keeper game over route. Okay, and what he'll do is once he gets right to the ball, he'll go right down the middle of the field. This H on the back side, he is, he is literally doing a grab corner. It's deeper than most corners that we run. It's 15 to 25, not 12 to 22. Because if it is too deep, he wants to grab that near safety. Okay, uh, and again, this is just a uh, lasso. All right, uh, protection here, and uh, a pitcher's worth a thousand words, but not many people have stopped it. It's, it's, it is a really difficult concept. So again, in, in this look here, he read it, he read it as, as quarters over here. He didn't like, he, didn't, he just stayed on the move here, didn't like this, so he ends up throwing the acute at 14 yards. No big deal. That's good. It's in front of him. It's safe. He, he read it as post coverage. He was wrong. It doesn't matter. He read it as post coverage, so he's throwing the acute here, or he's, or he's going to run it. So if we get split safeties, men, if we get any kind of split safeties like we're doing here, he's going to run down the middle of the field late. Okay? And you guys that have coached cover two or coached quarters, that is really hard. Really hard to defend. Again, this is lasso. Lasso protection with the Y in here. Again, try to go right down the goalpost. And the last one is just, again, we showed, the, we showed the flow pass off the power. This is just an actual power pass. So if we, if we were going to say power, we'd say purple power, and we'd run some kind of stutter with it. 12 back to 10 and then go. So again, man, I know, I know, it's, I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot, but I hope we just shared with you the run game and marrying up with the play action pass and really how easy it has become in the modern era of, of, of football to marry those things up just by adding the word purple and just teaching the technique a little bit different, but really all the assignments stay the same. So again, it's a privilege to be here in Charlotte. I hope the Miami Hurricanes are back here in Charlotte for the, uh, or, or, or we get here, because we didn't quite get on the plane last time, we were ready to go. But I hope we're in, uh, I hope we're in Charlotte next December. Uh, playing in that ACC championship game. And I do want you to know that you guys have great coaches in North Carolina right now. You guys have great coaches. Make sure that you guys are going and visiting uh, Cut and, and, and Larry and, and, uh, and Groby uh, and, uh, and Coach Dorn, who I don't really know, but obviously he did a great job at, at, uh, at Northern Illinois. So make sure you guys are visiting those guys. If you ever want to come down and visit Coral Gables, you will pick up 50 degrees. If you come back home with me tonight, it's uh, 80 degrees down there. We'd love to have you visit. All right, guys, and I appreciate your time, okay? God bless.